Hey guys, well, we came out here today in hopes of a fall kind of cloudy, betas, blue winged olive, and mahogany dun day. Uh, we got here, uh, the forecast originally was for thick cloud and drizzle. We didn't ever got that. So we got here just as the morning spinner fall was ending, and it was epic. You could see the, 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 the mayfly spinners coming down, and then when we first arrived, and it was like four really nice browns in a row. And it's like, ooh, eyes are lighting up, everybody. But the problem was, <laughs> it was like as we got there, it was like we spooked the mayflies, not the fish, uh, because they just quit. The mayfly spinnerfall absolutely quit. And <laughs> you could just see these browns just cruising all over the place. And slowly, one by one, those four disappeared. But the problem was, that didn't change all day. You know, nothing really got rolling. We we managed to find a few really gorgeous fish on the dry, and those are really cool fish you're gonna see. But I invite you to come along for the ride. We get some great uh, visuals on dry flies, some mayfly eats, some really cool stuff about timing. Uh, there's one fish in this video that uh, the sun popped out as it was rising to mayflies, the sun popped out, it absolutely quit. It just, you could see the fish just go like that and quit. And after about 10 minutes, I got my approach, I got in tight, I cast, and the fish just moved off. Clouds came back in about 20 minutes later, light drizzle started, fish came back. Guess what? Got the fish. So it's a really cool uh, situational thing about conditions. A lot of discussion on how to, little tips and hints and all that kind of stuff. So come on along for the ride. We're gonna catch a few nice rainbows. After we just missed the spinner fall risers, we wandered rather hopelessly as we waited out a mayfly hatch. I can be stubborn, but eventually I stumbled upon a nice brown that randomly rose twice in shallow to the two mayflies sitting on the surface. Got a rise here. God. He just rose along the shallows here and it was like, well, I got a big ass beetle on. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected that, but here we are. <laughs> he just literally ro rose in the rocks up here and I just pitched it right to him. Yeah, I would not have expected this brown to eat that beetle just like that. There we go, 18, 19, 20. There we go. Nice, hey? Yeah, hey. One, two, Wonderful. three, down, up. Okay. Down. Um, yeah. You can't make that up. No, you can't. Okay. You just cannot. Like, why that fish? Why then? Why? 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 Like, where did it come from that it was stationed there? Wow. You ready? Okay, I'm just going to slowly work up and see if I can at least see him in the water. I think I do see him. I thought I saw his tail. That light is, wow, is that bright suddenly. Complete change. This is just a heartbreaking day. Every time you line up on something, it just completely shifts. There he is. Okay, he's just dropping in. There he is. Let's see if he goes. Here we go. See if he, that should get him. He's coming up. Refused. Wow. Like, come on. Isn't that amazing? That's the day. It got sunny and they just started cruising around. As soon as it got sunny, they started moving around. Okay, right here, love, just roll. Yeah. That should get him. Come on up. No. I gotta back off slowly. Here he comes. Yes. Jeez. They, they, as soon as it got sunny, they started moving around. That was it. Wow. 
and that guy was all over the map. Isn't that amazing? Jeepers, what a day. What a day. What a frustrating day. What a gorgeous eat that was. <laughs> yeah. Come on, bud. There we go. Wicked. Finally, hey? Jeez. Me too. Yeah, we've seen Guppy before. Yeah, we've seen Mr. Guffs. <laughs> Flip it down yeah. up. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, three, two, one, down. Well, hey guys, <laughs> these are the days that are really trying. The, the river's been lowered again, really uh, low flows. And every time today that you, you know, you see a rise and you see another rise and you get in position to cast, but then you, you're just watching these fish cruise around. They'll literally come and feed, you know, in a spot and then they'll go. And these fish on this flat, while well, they were actually steady, they were stationed. We were like, yes, two fish, two fish in a row stationed and feeding. Awesome. And then the sun comes out and you can see the, they start dropping. You know, they just, just started dropping right beside us in the bright sun. And it was like the first one swam past downstream. It's like, oh, I got to cast at that right now. Well, where is it going? Who knows? Comes up, refuses to fly. And I look upstream and there's another fish dropping just kind of backwards this time cast at him he kind of half looks and then goes out just unsettled and i cast at him way out there and he comes straight up on my little mayfly merger so who knows these are just you know they're so unsettled if it's the second that something changes they're in the environment light or wind they've just been gone so really hard to keep up with and a real good challenge like this is a size 16 mayfly merger on 5x and it's just holding its own. So, yeah, let's go. I mean, a really cool fish, don't get me wrong. It was a really gorgeous rainbow. Um, there was a solo rise there and another solo rise up top. So, uh, I don't know. We'll hold out and we'll, we'll see if we can't see something. Now we got cloud again. Maybe they'll restation. Who knows? We're going we're gonna <laughs> to try to wait these ones out. Right in front of me here, okay. just off this left side of this rock up here. Same spot as that last rise was actually. So I might just have a go yeah. while he's there, if you get what I'm saying. Oh, he's to the, here he comes. Yeah, while he's there. A little, was that a little brownie? Yep. A little brownie. <laughs> wow. I, I thought I had him dialed in and then as I cast laid out, he rose two feet to the left. It was like, oh no. And then he dropped to the right and ate my fly. I like that. <laughs> yeah, that's luck. Yeah, from absolute no luck to absolute okay. Hey, thanks, Mr. Brown. Hey, a little male brown. And how do I know that's a little male brown, guys? Well, look at that mouth structure on that guy. Right? Look at, uh, you just look at how the uh, hinge part, hinge point on that uh, jaw is behind the eye. Oh, look at, there you go, guys. There we go, hey. There we go, yep. three, two, one, down. Yep. Where is he now though? Sure. You know, he was pop, 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 and then suddenly he was nowhere. Yeah. Nope. Well, That's out. that guy. Yeah, and not the same guy. He's just moving around that much. Let's find out. I thought there was one below that yet too. I'm just walk slowly up and see what happens because you might just find that we find a, another fish dropping in, right? Cause there was that one that refused me mm -hmm. and then I caught that one and then I caught the little guy 
And with the sun about to come back out again, it's a case where that might push these fish around again. This is getting crazy. So he's still up on that shelf up there, you reckon? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think that was another riser. Ah, boy, it's interesting sighting, that's for sure. Yeah, just they're dancing all around the place. It's like, well, this guy, I'm not convinced, is stationed hard and fast to that rock up there. Yeah, there he is up there, eh? So he's still there. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, good, because this could be a real challenge trying to pick up a fish here. I can see him seize off, the, right where that bug is? Up, no. I thought he was gonna eat that for sure. Just on the right side of the foam, just above the orange part of the rock slab. See that, see where that kind of yeah, waves up to get to a, the darkest spot? Yeah. If you go a foot above that, he's right above that. Oh, okay, so that he's, groovy where it comes in and meets the groove, like. Yeah, he's just dark. above, right where that mayfly just went through. Oh, okay. And that right mayfly, there. he's to the yeah. left. Okay. Yeah. That's he's zone. just, he's, if you look, there's a smudge going left and right in there. Okay. He's glowing right now. Oh, he's on top. Yeah, he's that. glowing. I see, okay, I yeah. I see him now. Okay. I see him now. Yeah. Wicked. Oh, come on. I thought you can just tell by the way he's flaring his peck fins that he's wanting to come up there. Is that mayfly? No, he's not going to chase that way that way. A little bit leery of this spot in this light. But. If I get some more shade here, I'm just going to go at them as soon as that, uh, oh God, that cloud is just, yeah. It's the kind of light where you could spook in a nanosecond, you know? Oh, he's still free. Yeah, okay, I gotta go. You okay with that? Okay, let's see if I can feather this in there. Straighten this out. Come over, yep. No, he thought about it though. He was really thinking about it. I think that was just a couple feet too far, hey? He's moved up two feet, that's never good. Gone. See that, that, that bright sun just had him unsettled. Unbelievable. Total massive change. Yeah, massive change and he's done again. Isn't that wild? So that one was pretty tough. Um, it was rising, rising, rising when the clouds, and then see that sky. Well, as soon as that sun started to break through, that you could just see that fish going swaying, 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 up, up, sway, sway, and the sun came out and it just went like this on the bottom. It, it, it kind of moved a little bit left and right, but in the whole time that I was ready set up on that fish, it, it didn't rise. It didn't come up in the water column, anything. And it, you could just watch the light change. It was just awesome to watch. Well, not if you want to catch fish, but, you know, uh, as far as just observing trout behavior, it's like free, 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 and then whoop, and that tail is just, and you could just see there was no up in the peck fins. There was no up in, in, its, in its behavior. It was just, nah, it's bright, guys. This water is real low and clear. I don't want to come up in that kind of light. So, yeah, um, I took a cast anyway because that was the end of the cloud. Well, I got a bit more cloud, but not enough. Anyway, um, yeah, it took one cast and, mm, and then it just kind of sauntered off. I was like, yeah, of course, that's what's going to happen. So, you know, it, it, it changed in conditions. That's how it goes some days. Okay, guys, well, <coughs> pardon me. Um, clouds came back thick. And we walked to the top of the run looking for fish. Looked back because it got cloudy. And lo and behold, this fish that had just taken off in the sun is back in the cloud. Who knew? So now the, there he is. That's a good head. That's actually a really good head. Oh, yeah. There he goes. So he's, he's definitely back. i got to try to get in here without spooking him, I'm trying to see where the heck he is. There he is. Okay, so I'm not gonna repeat the performance that I did before with the same fish. If it gets bright, I can wait five minutes, right? 
Otherwise, it'd be silliness. Okay. Now, have a good look around for anybody else. Where is he? I got him. He's in the exact same spot, like the exact same lie. Yeah, as he was before. Up. Yeah. The difference is it's cloudy now, so in theory I should be able to get a cast anywhere near him. It's going to have to be a good one, though. Okay, Dave. Come on. Just feather it in there. Just lay it out there. Go sidearm over his shoulder if you need to. That's... Here he comes. Refuse. Hard refusal. Okay, I'm going to go again. Look at that, eh? Come on, just linger and come up. Eat that. Oh, I was setting the hook. Did you see that? My arms were setting the hook. That's how close. That's how close to taking it he was. That is spectacular. Nope, got to change. Wow, I was actually in the motion because he was that close. That is epic. He was just like right there and I was getting, my arms were already tightening to set the hook. Nah. Okay, change, gotta go size smaller. still going I got this little size 18 mayfly going okay maybe the wind will help you know sometimes you got to use things that change slightly to your advantage okay guys let's get into hit the zone got to find this guy again I know he's right there yeah I got him There we go. Stand up. That was a weird cast. Let it drift behind you, Davy. And pause and place. Should be right on him. No, I was dragging. He came up to look, but it dragged a little button hook right past him. Yeah, yes. See, that's the difference between the clouds and sun. I couldn't get that same cast on that fish in the sun. It took off and the clouds came back in thick. We rested that fish for 15 minutes or so. And guess what? A lot easier, isn't it? You want to talk changing conditions? It's been the nightmare day, but patience. I think that's what this, oh, awesome. And look at this. This is that same fish we've caught three times now this summer. How do I know? Well, Grandma has a few age spots on her. You know the one. Yep. Isn't that amazing? Wow. I'm thrilled. No matter what happens from here on in. Yeah. Game of patience. There she goes. Isn't that amazing? I'm on 5X on size 18 mayflies. So, you know, I'm, I'm in full control. Right. See, the wind came up, the clouds were thick. I got a refusal, but so be it. So far, so good, but she is in control. Oh, yeah. Wow. Sheepers, hey? I'm amazed that all happened. Absolutely amazed. Every head shake is a 5X size 18 break off kind of a head shake. And I'm trying not to throttle on the on the reel handle. And it's just like I just trying to be so ginger on it. So again, see where my fingers are on that reel. It's lateral outside the rim. 
just because I don't want to jimmy jam on that knob if she goes again, which she's gonna. She just seems like she has that go to her, right? So you see that? My finger's not jamming as it goes. Give myself a chance. And I mean, you say, well, why don't you set the real drag a little bit better? Well, you, the reason I don't is I like firm. I like, I like to be able to feel everything. And I would way rather feel my drag with my hand and my palming with the finger than just say, okay, in every situation I've got my real drag set thusly. Because 5X is massively different than 4X and 3 and 2 and 1. And streamer fishing is this different than that. And, well, you, know, you do a lot of things. But you don't want to get in a place where, you know, you've got real drag for a, you know, 0x, 2 aught streamer versus a size 18 or 20 mayfly. So I like to be just consistent in all of my fishing at this drag so I know what I'm dealing with in all situations. That's just me. This is also where you don't want to screw things up, guys. You've done so well to here. Keep that rod low. Because as soon as you lift, she's going to say, nah, I don't think so, Jack. Don't lift. See, now, now, will she give it up? She's on the surface and got her. Woo! Gorgeous fish. That, that is a stunning rainbow, that one. I mean, I don't know what those age spots are all about, but. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Nice, man. Like okay, knee. yeah. All right. That's gorgeous. And. Ah, uh, can you tell we're on the back side of a front? Uh, sun, wind, cloud, rain. Here we are. Um, that fish was really cool because that was a classic example, guys, of, you know what? Bright sun conditions take a great cast of the fish and it just kind of slinks off and disappears. And then we got up there, finished off the run and saw one fish kind of nymph. It was like, no, he's not coming up to the dry. I looked behind me and there was a rise. And I was like, that's the same fish. It had taken about 20 minutes for us to get up top, look back, and the same fish that had taken off of that rock shelf was back rising in, in the clouds. And now it's raining. I mean, you can't ask for better than that. But that's the difference in conditions, you know, and they change so much on these days. But bright sun, low water, clear water, and a cast. No, I'm thinking the fish is, you know, as soon as that sun came out, it didn't want to move but it slinked off, came back around in the sun, and it started, you know, in the clouds, I should say, and it started feeding again. And those are the fish that you know you're gonna take from. Uh, they're, they're a lot more forgiving when they don't know, you know, it's like looking through a magnifying glass and somebody throwing a steak at you. Well, you're gonna go, oh, what was that? So that's the difference. Stick to it, guys. And geez, man, I'm gonna have to, oh, my sunglasses just went dead. Okay, let's go.